Good day everyone, this is the Dip Collector. I'm going to do a short run through of some of the features of the Solidify Web3 wallet. Just two years ago, most of us were holding our funds on a ledger and all we did was huddle, watch the price go up and watch the price go down. For me personally, a lot has changed since I became an early member of the Mickey Refresh Patreon group where we were overloaded with information regarding smart contract functionality, DeFi and all things concerning Web3 such as wallets and dApps. Some of this knowledge we were first able to bring to use after the Songbird network went live in September 2021. We played around with DeFi, we used liquidity pools to get an understanding of the mechanics of those, we minted NFTs and some of us just stuck to delegating to the FTSO signal providers. Now after using the Bifrost wallet for over a year and a half, we see other wallets that are also focused on Flare and Songbird hit the market. And one of those wallets is the Solidify wallet at which I'm going to have a look in this short video. Okay, we're going to open the Solidify wallet and have a look at some of its features. First of all, we can see that this wallet can hold XRP, Songbird and Flare. We can check the price. We can check the price on the hour, on the six hour, on the day, the week, the month and the three month periods. Let's take a step back. We're going to select accounts. We're going to go to the bottom and select add new wallet. Now as we can see we can set up a few only wallets. We can create a whole new wallet with Solidify, import a private key or import a recovery phrase. I'm going to select few only. We can enter a name here, we can copy an address and we can follow everything that's going on in that wallet but we can't do any transactions so it's, it's safe. Okay, we can create a new wallet here. Let's call it test wallet. Take a next step and here we go. Here's the recovery phrase. Now we're not gonna set up a wallet. Like I said, I already did set up a few wallets. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna select wallet number one. We're in the delegation screen now where we can see the epoch that's going on, epoch 64. Uh, we can see the amount of time it still has to run. We can select beneath this uh, black space, we can in the, in the gray area, we can select this and we can see a nice graphic about the epoch and a lot of information about the whole epoch period, when to get in and when to finish. Now what else can we see here? We can see the rewards uh, we have. We can see when it started, when it ends, etc, etc. We can even see the, at the bottom, we can even see the estimated reward per epoch. And we can see the FTSO providers uh, that we have chosen. In this case, it's uh, FTSO Australia and the Mickey Refresh FTSO. And then we can select all the providers beneath here. We're not going to use them, okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the airdrop screen. Uh, we're going to select this little icon, the second one from the left. And then we can see when the first uh, airdrop is taking place. It's going to be March 17th, as we know, and exactly shows how many hours away that is, the amount of days and hours. Um, we can even see the estimated airdrop at the bottom. Uh, it's not very clear because uh, there are hardly any funds in this wallet, but I know from other people and from other wallets that I've imported that it's around 28%, which is quite a number. Let's select assets. We can see the amount of assets we hold in this wallet. In this wallet, we only hold some web flare, but if you have NFTs or other coins, it will also be visible here. And I'll show you later in, uh, in one of my Songbird wallets. Here we can see all the transactions and then we've got a last icon it's called the extra and we can do the governance here let's take a step back let's go to songbird select my nft account and then go to the assets and then we can see that it, under the assets we can see the nfts as well as all the coins we hold 
in our Songbird wallet. Okay, uh, we're going to go to the bottom now. We were in the home section. Now we're going to go to the portfolio where we can see this nice pie which shows uh, the percentage of the coins we hold in this wallet. Next step is the browser. You can import Web3 uh, pages in here. You just type them in and um, you save them. There's already a few in here. I added OpenC myself and it's connected to my ETH wallet, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check it out. Account, profile, and here we go. It's all few only, uh, as you can see. I like my fluffs and I like my bears. What else do we have? We got the media section. where we can see all the latest news. We can select YouTube, where we can see videos from Mickey B. Fresh and Flare Community. And there's a twit, also a Twitter section. And the last step we've got is the settings section, where we can, well, as you can see, we can change the time format, the time zone, the currency, etc., etc. Now at the top here we can select receive and if you have multiple wallets set up like seven or eight wallets you can still select the receive function and uh, yeah you can use the QR code or you can copy paste the address and receive your funds. My overall conclusion about the Solidify wallet is that it's an amazing wallet with loads of possibilities. But personally for now I'm going to stick with my Bifrost wallet, my Xoom wallet and my MetaMask wallet. I followed the advice of Alex who is an admin in our Patreon group and a security specialist and keep my Web3 wallets on a dedicated iPhone. With dedicated I mean I only use it for crypto wallets and not for email, surfing or any other apps. On top of that I open my wallets and sign all my transactions using Face ID as biometrics will never reveal your passwords and when I don't use my wallets I keep my phone in airplane mode. The Solidify wallet is a great extension to this dedicated wallet which I can leave in a safe place while the Solidity wallet gives me the opportunity to view all my accounts, my NFTs, my debts and such as Pangling all in one place. So long story short, I love the Solidify wallet. To be honest, I've never seen a wallet with so many possibilities. On the other hand, the pros of the Bifrost wallets are that it can hold loads of tokens next to Flare, Songbird and XRP. So this was my short walkthrough of the Solidify wallet. Have a nice day everyone and let's be careful out there.